Around here, of course, the weather always changing, and it's about to change again after a phenomenal couple of days, Michelle. Yeah, we've had a warm stretch so far. Yeah. Now, in the short term, next seven, 10 days, we do expect a return to more seasonable and even a few days below average temperatures. Looking at our North Kingstown camera, beautiful overlook in the bay, up into the Providence area from our hurricane barrier camera, sun and fair weather clouds dotting the skies. This is it, though. We turn cooler by the upcoming weekend. Doesn't mean that it's a bad weekend. It's actually going to be dry and just near normal for the majority of the time, uh, which you'd expect for late October. Some people have been missing those crisp October temperatures. A weather and pattern change. This is what's coming for us next week. Looking rainier and cooler potentially. Several chances for some wet weather. So with all the warm weather, you may be a little like me, delayed doing all the fall activities with the kids. If you're planning on hitting up a corn maze or a pumpkin patch this weekend, plan on those seasonable temperatures. Saturday near 62, Sunday's high near 60 degrees. Right now, we're at 70 in Providence. Good afternoon after school, maybe to take the kids pumpkin picking 72 in Taunton, upper 60s at the coastline with a west southwest wind. Had a couple of sprinkles this morning. Now those are just clipping the Cape and the islands at times, widening out the view. Got a cold front knocking right on the door. Our back door, it's going to be sliding across the area this afternoon. Mainly dry though as it comes through with just some passing clouds behind it. The air is cooling down. You can see big time temperature differences for Buffalo and Pittsburgh. For our area, we're going to be about 10 degrees cooler behind the front, both for nighttime lows and daytime highs tomorrow. So two o'clock this afternoon, soak in the warm weather while we've got it. 71 at four o'clock, six o'clock temperature around 67. And I noticed that the temperatures cool a little bit more quickly this evening, falling through the 60s for Friday night football. So you might want a sweatshirt or even a blanket if you're headed out to one of the games. Late tonight, upper 40s to lower 50s, cool partly cloudy skies expected. So we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Chilly when you start off the morning and then in the afternoon, not bad temperatures into the upper 50s, low 60s for most of the area at 3 o'clock. And Sunday going to be cool and dry for the Pats game. We'll start off the day with sunshine in 40s in the morning. Afternoon will be approaching 60 degrees at kickoff. So after a dry daytime on Sunday, look for increasing clouds and then some rain moving in Sunday night and Monday. And it looks like we'll have again several opportunities for rainy weather Monday, Tuesday, potentially some lingering showers with another system at the end of the week later Thursday into Friday. So so our seven day forecast, we've had a warm, dry spell over the last mostly 10 days. Now that's coming to an end 63 tomorrow. Those nighttime showers on Sunday, and then we'll be keeping it in the loop about the unsettled weather for next week. You can